Hi, I'm Kindome. It's 6 degrees Fahrenheit, or minus 14 degrees centigrade, which means it's time for another Tidal Cycles video tutorial. You may be wondering, why do I live where the air temperature hurts my face? Well, I don't really know. But it's pretty normal for this time of year, so when it gets this cold, I like to wear boots. So I figured, let's talk about how to boot Tidal. Oh hi! Today we're going to talk about three different ways that you can boot up Tidal Cycles in the Atom Text Editor. The latest version of the Tidal Cycles package, which is version 0.12 or higher, has a number of new configuration settings that you can use to tailor your boot up experience. And who doesn't want their boot up experience tailored, obviously. So there are three ways you can now boot up Tidal. The first is the default package boot, which is what we've always had. The second is a custom boot file located somewhere on your computer. And the third is a boot file per project directory. So if you have many title projects, you can have a boot file per project. So let's get into them. Okay, so the first option is the default package boot. What this means is the Title Cycles package has a, a default set of boot up instructions. So when you create a pattern in your title file, like so, and you evaluate this, what it's doing is it's reaching into the, the package source code and finding some default instructions. And in that case, it plays my pattern. So just to give you a glimpse into what that code looks like, if we go to the uh, Atom settings, then packages, and find the title cycles package, click settings. You can choose this view code button that will open a new Atom editor, and it will bring you to the title cycles package source code. And in the uh, lib folder, there is a boot title.hs file, and this file is the default boot up code. It runs each of these lines one at a time to set everything up. So it has the classic dirt uh, connections, C1 through C9, the super dirt connections, D1 through D9, as well as defining the hush function to silence those things. And there's a few other things in here as well. Uh, some of them are required, some of them maybe not so much, but uh, this is what happens by default. So you don't need to do anything for this option. I just wanted to give you a glimpse into the, the source there. So that's, that's the default package boot. All right. So the second option is a custom boot file, which is a, uh, a file somewhere on your computer that you want to use to um, uh, define a, a custom way that you want title to boot up in Atom. So if we go to Atom settings and then packages, and then we'll find title cycles, and then go to settings, you'll see there's a new setting called title, a uh, boot title path. And what you can do is type a path on your computer to where a custom boot file is located. So that's pretty cool. So now I'm gonna create a custom boot file in my user directory here in Windows. So I'm gonna create a new file called awesomeboot.hs. And it doesn't have to have an HS extension. It can really be named anything you want. I'm going to choose an HS extension because then I get some nice syntax highlighting in Atom. I'm going to drag this file into Atom so I can edit it. So now I need to type some boot up code. And so what the heck do I type? What, how, do I, how do I start? Well, luckily, the folks at Title Cycles have decided to help you out. If you go to the Title Cycles package settings page here in Atom, you can click on the Title Cycles title, T I T L E, title, title, and um, that will take you um, out to the pack.
package web page on the Atom website. So if you scroll down, there is a sample default boot file. So this is just a nice little thing to get you started. So I'll copy that, go back to Atom, and I will paste this into my awesome boot file. So this is just um, a starting point. So you can see we've by default, we've got uh, D1 through D9 defined for connections to super dirt and hush mapping those things um, to silence. So I'm going to change this just to show you that I can make customizations to this. I'm going to call D1 awesome one and we'll name the transition T awesome. And then I'll add a second one, awesome two and T awesome two. And I'm going to get rid of the others. And then in hush, I will map these to awesome one and awesome two. And then last, I'm going to define a custom function. I'm just going to call it dub to double a pattern's speed. And we'll just say fast two P. So this is my custom boot file. I've created um, connections to super dirt with my own special names, and then redefined hush to silence those custom names and then define a new function. So now I have to specify in settings that uh, path. So in Windows, I will type the path and this is awesome boot.hs. So bear in mind, I am using Windows and if you are using Windows, you will need to escape the backslashes by typing it twice. Uh, that's because Windows is weird. And if you're using a Mac or Linux, you can be a normal person and just use forward slashes. Okay, so this should now uh, use my custom boot file when I boot up title. So let's, let's test this. If I type D1, oh, I have title running already. So let me restart Adam. Sure, we'll save that. We'll restart Adam and deboot title, unboot title, unboot or deboot. Okay, so I am going to uh, play my clap pattern on D1. Now it should not work. I should get an error because our settings, uh, our setting is pointing to this custom boot file that does not have D1 defined. So let's see if this works. All right, so I do get an error saying, D1 is not in scope, so that's good. I'll change this to awesome one. And it works, and so does hush, because I've uh, changed what hush does as well. And I can say awesome two, sound, kit one. And that works as well. Uh, and then last, uh, we'll see if the dub function is there. So dub is now working as well. So I've now configured my title cycles package to use this file. So if I have some special things I want to do in my boot up, I can now define that in my own file rather than changing the source code of the package. So that's, that's option two, custom boot file. Okay, so the third option is a project directory boot file. So in Atom, the left sidebar or the, the tree of files that you uh, have on the left, this is called your project. And if we go to file settings and the, go to the title cycles settings, there is a new checkbox here that says use boot file in current directory. And what that will do is it'll look at the first folder in your project and look for a boot title.hs file in, um, in that location. So that way, if you have multiple title projects or composition projects or performance projects, you can have each one can have its own boot up or its own settings, or can load its own modules, rather than using the same boot file on your computer for all of your projects. So I'm going to create a new file in 
my project here called boot title.hs. And just like before, I'm going to go to the title cycles web page, copy the default boot file. And again, just to kind of prove that this is different, I'm going to call this um, proj1 and proj2. And then we will change hush so that it maps to those things. And then I'm going to create a new custom function called half for half speed and slow to p. Okay. So now I've got a boot file defined in my current directory with some customizations I've made. And I now have my settings uh, set to look for that file. So now if I do D1, this should not work. We'll just verify that there's an error here. There is. And just to prove that it's not looking at the uh, custom file path um, that I put in uh, in the um, other example, it should ignore that as well. And again, it says that that's not in scope either. But if I do proj1, this should work. And proj2 should work. And let's see if the half function is there. There it is. So what this does is it allows you to define a boot file per, um, per project or, or within the working directory wherever uh, Adam has been loaded. So that's pretty cool. All right, the last thing I want to mention is the uh, order of precedence that these settings take. So if you have the use boot file in current directory option checked, that that will take the uh, highest precedence. So it will look for that first. Uh, second is the boot title path. It will look for that path if this setting is not checked. And third is the default option if, if um, the path is not set and if the um, current directory boot file is not selected either. So that's all I wanted to show. So title cycles version 0 0.12 in Atom has these new features and hopefully you'll find some value in them. So hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the future.